Uh, and Nigar has, uh, Nigar Shaji has an equally inspiring story. You come from a real small town in Tenkasi, actually a village, Senkota, I forgot the name right. And you then wanted to take up science. Was there resistance from your parents? Was there resistance from, you know, your friends around you, society? Where, how did it work and how did you get in? Uh, no, actually, uh, the, my parents were very supportive. Actually, my father, uh, is a, he did his undergraduate in maths. So, uh, he is very much interested in maths and physics. And my, even my brother is a, he's a PhD in physics. So, that way, uh, we have an interest in uh, physics. But engineering, uh, I always like to do what uh, many are not doing. So that way I chose engineering at that point of time. Now every, that lot of women are doing. So that, that point of time, it was not uh, very, uh, very a common one. So I like to do that. How many, how many women were there in your class when you were doing engineering? Yeah, we were, uh, the total strength of 120, 100 are male and 20 are women. Wow. <laughs> so the ratio is very little. And did you face discrimination? You also... Uh, come from, uh, if, if I may say, uh, you know, ask this question, from a, a Muslim community. Was there any problems you had mingling and were there any societal issues at that particular point? Um, I didn't face any problem, but uh, in our community at that point of time, uh, women were not very encouraged to do a very higher education. So, but uh, my parents were not like that. So, I could do it. Okay. <laughs> Let's give a warm round of applause for that as well. Let's, let's come to the other issue, is women at the workplace, in this case, and your, you know, scientific institutions. Do you all have a, levi a level playing field? Is there a lot of uh, patriarchal resistance to having someone like you on top of institute? Indian Indus Institute of Astrophysics is one of the most prestigious institutes. Were there any difficulties you faced and what would be the correctives you would say are required if there was? Yeah, uh, the institute, the Institute of Astrophysics actually has a long heritage of having women at all levels. So people in general see women taking part in decision making at levels, etc. But we never had a head of the institution as a woman. Uh, as a, You're as the, the first, first woman director. Woman director right. of that. So what basically happens is that what I have come across is that there's no direct discrimination, but there will always be an obscure thing that okay, can she do it? Can she live up to the expectation? So. Uh, if something goes wrong, they'll say, okay, maybe she can't take it, she can't do it. So that kind of a confidence level with the feel around you is not very positive or supportive. So always you have to take a double dose of confidence within you to take the next step. Can you do it? You'll always question yourself. Can you do it? Can you do it? Because particularly because you yourself, you don't see too many role models around you, but also because the kind of feel around you is not very positive about it. So you have to overcome doubly. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So I think I always tell women that don't doubt yourself. There won't be any feel around you to support, support you. So don't even look for feels around you. Just take, you are confident about it, just go ahead and do it. So that's what I, I keep telling myself because I also end up in such situations quite often. What a wonderful message. Let's give a warm round of applause for that for all women on this. And Nigar, I'm sure you also, when you come to, what is the, you know, in terms of ISRO seems a more enlightened organization as we can see a lot of scientists, but were there issues, especially when you were young and you were trying to move up, were there issues of discrimination and how did you overcome it? What was the kind of things you did uh, to do that as well as balance your family life? I guess that's the other issue that you have yeah. to do. Uh, it's actually, in ISRO there is no glass ceiling or anything and uh, we, I never had a feeling that uh, I'm a female, so I need to do. But naturally, women, I feel, we have, because of the stereotyping and the societal, this one, we have our self-assessment is uh, comparatively less and you have to put uh, more than uh, double the effort to be more assertive and to be uh, in the place of decision making. It's the inherent and the societal pressure what you get that's only pulling you. Otherwise, as an organization, it was uh, very, the en environment was very conducive and uh, I never felt it's I have to. But otherwise, for uh, climbing up the ladder, you have to put in a lot of effort. So that time, the work-life balance comes into play. So unless you have a good support system at home, because still uh, it's not, uh, so many places we can talk that I men and we are sharing the all the burden of the families and but still 
it's the more percentage is on the women's uh, shoulder. So set up a good so, uh, supportive system so that you can spend more time in your career and you can spend it's because it's uh, naturally you need to spend more time if you want to climb up the ladder it's neither it's irrespective of men or women you have to put in a lot of effort so for that you build a, my uh, my what i learned is have a good supportive system to take care of the family responsibilities too so my family was very supportive and my mother was very supportive for me so i could spend extra hours because in space uh, there is no time so if you go in the morning, you don't know when you'll be back. Right. So that's the type of work we do. So that is a support system which helped me to climb the ladder like this. And how would you look at it, and this work-life balance where you have to, you have, I think both of you all have two children, uh, yeah. Yeah, yes, son right. and a daughter in your case. How did you balance uh, the, <laughs> the, these two things? It's not easy at all. Um, my message is that, of course, I fully agree with Nigar that support system is extremely important. And uh, it, is, it changes from person to person, so you need to figure out how you handle it. But I, I mean, we all, I also go into the guilty feeling of, you know, you spend more time at, home, um, uh, at work, then you feel that you're not, um, you know, covered much at home. So I tell people that don't take average over a short time scale, because you cannot achieve everything every day. You cannot achieve everything every week. So take an average over a month or a couple of months, then you will not feel into this guilty trap. So, Guilty trap is another problem where you get up doing, but actually you need to deliver because you need to be conscious about all the requirements you have to play, but somehow manage to balance time and discipline is the, the underlying term you have to take care because without discipline, very difficult to handle multiple things. I see Kali Puri there who is our vice chairman of the India Today group as well as group editorial director, a fine example of women leadership. Kali, you wanted a, a question, uh, you had one? Mike, uh, should I come? Mike. Yeah, yeah. Take this. Sorry, my question is to uh, Dr. Subramaniam. Uh, you said something very important about having a double dose of confidence. I think young uh, women these days have a lot more role models to look up to, but along with societal pressure, they have a lot of social media pressure. Um, and you know, this belief of imposter syndrome. So can you tell us a little bit about how do you do that double dose of confidence, like every day in the morning? How do you pep yourself up and say, I can do this and you know, I'm the woman for the job. I am the only woman for the job. <laughs> it, it is not easy at all. I mean, we go into this kind of thing, can I do it? Should I do it? You know, can I take this up? This quick keeps coming back to you. You have to t keep talking to yourself saying that, you have done it, do not doubt yourself. Even if something fails, I mean, going wrong, you said, no, 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 be yourself, just be yourself. You know, you have the instinct in you, you need, the, you have the capabilities in you, just do it. Wonderful. Just go ahead and face it and do it. You can just be normal, don't get overwhelmed, don't get pressurized. So you, this should not be in the parameters at all. You're just doing and doing your duty, so just go ahead and do it. Otherwise, if you start thinking about the peripherals around it, it, you get overwhelmed and you will not be able to even deliver, uh, 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 I mean, whatever, even in the scariest of scenarios, you can't deliver that. So I think Nigar, Nigar would uh, be the right person up, but to we'll talk give you 30 about seconds. Go ahead and uh, what is your <laughs> Total advice, I mean, your, yeah. your thoughts yeah. on this? Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not uh, just a confidence building, just it won't come on its own. Okay, you have to look at the uh, models and it's uh, inherent quality what you get it and you can develop it. The confidence building is an art and you can always develop it. So I feel I, from, the, from my childhood, maybe the environment what I have grown in have given me a lot of confidence and uh, so that I continue to uh, nurture it and that helped me in my career too.